don't be weary of well-doing. You know the well-doing that is required of us in this season? Those who through patient continuance seek for glory, honor, immortality, eternal life. Through patient continuance, continuance, continuance in well-doing. The well-doing that we need to do well is learning. I remember when I was in uh, Ibadan, you know, uh, for their conference, and, you know, I and Pastor Dimeji, we were just talking. I, he just kept saying one thing, and kept saying it over and over again. I was just laughing. He, he, he would say, the warfare we have in this season is the warfare of hearing. <laughs> it's the warfare of hearing. We we'll talk and talk and talk and talk. Another time we we'll mentioned, say the warfare is the warfare of hearing. Now, one of the reasons is that we can take hearing for granted. We can take hearing for granted. Now, there is no way you will learn of him if you don't hear him. Because that place where she quoted, he talked about if you have learned, no, that has uh, Ephesians. Ephesians, there he said, learn of me from uh, meek and lowly. I think it's Ephesians. Uh, you have not so learned Christ. You have not so learned Christ. Then the next verse, 21. If so be that ye have done what? I didn't hear you. What did you say? So I need to hear him to learn him. If I don't hear him, I am not learning him. It's, it's, not, it's not out of theology. It's not out of place. You can't really learn him by reading your Bible. When you read your Bible, the understanding you have in your Bible is according to the level of him you've learned through hearing. Many people don't like this thing I'm saying. Because the challenge has always been the issue of hearing him. Sitting down and hearing him. That has always been the challenge. Sitting down and hearing him. So he said, if so be that you have heard him. Learning him is you have to hear him and have been taught by him. There is no other way of teaching us apart from you hearing him. So the warfare is in the place of hearing. Distraction, whatever is going to come against us, is just going to come because they don't want us to hear. But we will hear. Amen. Tell yourself, I will hear. Amen. Because the ear, you've given me ear to hear. My ear has thou opened. I have to hear. Amen. Tell yourself again, this year... Say it again with me this year. this year. Say it again with me this year. This year. You're not saying it seriously. Say it with me this year. This year. It's a year of hearing. Year of so what am I going to be hearing? That's also what has been declared to us from the beginning of this year when uh, the first night mommy was talking. I just picked that, that this year, what, what, the way it landed in my spirit is, this year is the year of hearing incorruptible seed. It's a year of learning incorruptibility. So you're going to, of course now you now know what you need to learn of him. Amen. Did you understand me? You now know what you need to hear of him. Praise God. So this year is a year of learning the incorruptible, of hearing the incorruptible, of acquiring incorruptible substances. Amen. Of acquiring incorruptible substances. This year, you know, incor in incorruptibility is going to be given to us by hearing. Can I say another? Eternal life is going to be by hearing. Eternal life is going to be given to you by learning. Because it's a life. It's eternal life. It's a life. You learn life. They don't just take life 
You know, like I'm holding this microphone and say, oh yeah, take life. No. So yesterday night, while I was praying, just waiting upon the Lord, the Lord began to speak to me about instructions. He said, instructions, you can't afford to play with instructions this year. He said, if you, if you, if you take it to my instructions and hear my instructions and live day to day by instruction, you will live perpetually in a state of supernatural. He said, when you look for, you know, uh, we, when we are praying for miracle, we pray for miracle, what we're actually asking for is intervention. We're asking for intervention. But you can be in a state where you don't need intervention. Where you don't need intervention. The only thing you need to do, can you just hear me? Instruction. Now that instruction is not, is not there's a leading of the spirit. There's a leading of the spirit of, okay, uh, don't go here today. No, no, that's not the instruction. I'm talking about the instruction of living. How to live. Living. Knowing those things that please him. Knowing those things that will... You know, there in First John, that was the scripture that came to me while it, uh, uh, that interaction was going on. We, we know we receive of him the petition that we have asked of him because we do those things that are pleasing in his sight. How will you do those things that are pleasing in his sight? He needs to have instructed you and then you will, you know, if, 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 the, if what you're looking for is, okay, today don't go to market. There are many prophets that can do that for you. But I'm talking about he will show you how to live. How many of us know that we don't know how to live? Thank you. He said, that will show me the path of life. Life has paths. You will show me the path of life. And if I live by those instructions, he told me, he said, you will live in a state of he called it the state of perpetual supernatural. Meaning you have supernatural, you live a supernatural life where you will not need intervention. But that will come by what? By hearing. So this year we will hear. Amen. Next year we will hear. Amen. Upper year we will hear. This decade is a decade of hearing. And the person we are hearing is him. He's already standing, ready to unveil himself. We will hear and hear and hear and hear until... You know, you will just be hearing and hearing and hearing until you check out where you are. You discover that where you were before is no more where you are you will turn around again and discover that I have changed. You will turn around again because you're hearing, you continue hearing, you will turn around and you turn and say, I, I am in the midst of eternal life. He said that you might know that you have eternal life. So he's hearing. I will continue hearing. Amen. Don't be weary in hearing. Amen. We give God praise.